And we're going to continue to follow the effects this winter weather is having on Christmas travel plans. Of course, we've got hundreds of flight cancellations and they're piling up across the country. Chris Van Cleve, he's at Reagan National Airport with more. Sounds good to get stuck in Jamaica. <laughs> but The bomb cyclone is blowing up Theo and Nicole Williams beach vacation. They're skipping out early to beat the storm home for Christmas. Whatever plans we have, we want them to be our plans, not the weather's <laughs> plans or the airport's plans. It's half the country. In the Department of Transportation's Operations Center, Secretary Pete Buttigieg and his team are monitoring the potential impacts as some of the nation's busiest airports sit in the path of blizzard-like conditions. That's not a great weather outlook up there. No, what you're seeing there is uh, a lot of impacts on some of our key hubs. By early Thursday morning, hundreds of today's flights were already canceled at Chicago O'Hare. This storm will end up being the storm that steals Christmas. I hope not, but look, this is uh, going to affect millions and, and millions of travelers. We're also doing what we can to get the word out about options that travelers have to get ahead of the storm or maybe wait it out and not travel until its impacts are behind us. Some 113 million people are expected to travel at least 50 miles this holiday as snow and frigid temperatures push across the country, blanketing streets outside Minneapolis. Here in Wyoming, state troopers battled negative 18 degree temperatures and zero visibility responding to more than 100 crashes. In Georgia, it's bracing for a rare hard freeze as Arkansas plans to treat roads ahead of possible wintry mix in the deep south. The most important thing is to be safe and uh, that might mean taking a little time or delaying a plan. Airlines expect cancellations to mount as the day goes on Thursday. They say one good thing here is they saw a real spike in people taking advantage of all those travel waivers and changing their flights. So hopefully fewer people will be impacted by the mounting cancellations. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Reagan National Airport, Virginia.